Edelgard, you... I will kill you. You're still... You're still kicking, eh? Oh. Well? Well? You will know the regret of my father, who was killed for you. Of my stepmother, who was slain by your own daughter. You will bow your head before all of the lives you trampled for your ideals, before you die in misery! Wait, 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 wait. Your obsession with me is appalling. If you were a normal human, you would most certainly have died already. Farewell, King of Delusion. If only we were born in a time of peace, you might have lived a joyful life as a benevolent ruler. of eternity with you, L. L. I thought no one called her L anymore. Everyone withdraw immediately. Fall back, Jafertiad. The goddess is watching over us. If we hold strong, we will surely be saved. Understood. Retreat! Why do you insist on being such a loathsome obstacle? You stole my mother's heart, and wield the sword of the Creator, just like that savage King Nemesis. I swear, with these very hands... Stole oh my goodness. I will take her back. Until then, wait for me, dear mother. She's just fucking crazy, I swear. Rhea, she is our enemy. But I must admit that she plays her cards magnificently. So, you mean using the goddess's name in order to boost morale? Ah, uh, I think she's just fucking crazy at this point. Oh my goodness. So, what did I want to? Uh, yeah, the things he said. Where did my father, who's who was killed for you? Hmm. Wasn't he killed in that tragedy of Duskor? Or was that the... The follow-up? Or something like that. I, I forget. My stepmother who was slain by her own... Daughter. What? What? So, okay, in order for that to make sense... Your stepmother. If it has, if it makes sense in terms of, if it makes sense in like relating to Edelgard, that would mean her his stepmother would have had to have been her mother. She said that her mother wasn't like the Empress or anything, right? It was just like one of the lovers that the Emperor had and had kids with, right? Ah. <sighs> Yeah, well, Dimitri, I could definitely have seen how a better guiding hand could have led you away from a life where you would just embrace the person who was most loyal to you. Just destroying their very essence. While also... Waving a flag of a savior from the death and destruction. <sighs> I mean, that's the problem with Dimitri. He does all this shit, but he's ultimately he's ultimately a hypocrite in a lot of ways. I think Edelgard's right in a lot of ways about that. I'm not saying that he's wrong to defend his place. Claude was right about that. Claude was like the epitome of what Dimitri should have been doing. My goodness. <sighs> in the end, it all comes back to Claude. <laughs> it all comes back to Claude in the end. Uh... That's true, but she also shows great skill in devising her tactics. 
using the bewildered kingdom army as a shield while she and the knights retreated. If they ran all the way back to Ferdiad, it will be very difficult to pursue them. You think there might be a chance that she also has divine pulses in some way? <laughs> Maybe that's how she got all those fucking crits? Not like we could experience the divine pulses or anything like that, right? Uh, if someone else had them. Again, so this seems like she's supposed to be a goddess, but there's no guarantee that any goddess in this religion propped up on fakes and a fake story, basically, has any guarantee to actually be a goddess rather than just like a really powerful being of some sort. Okay. No reason to not be completely confident in our capability to reverse the time. <laughs> Next time, we will end this. Yes, together we'll end this once and for all. For all the lives lost in battle, by our allies and foes alike. And for Dimitri as well. Hmm. Why for Dimitri? Yes, the thirst for revenge that imprisoned him was the result of my uncle's strategy. He believed that I was the cause of everything and he lost sight of his path as king. There was nothing I could do to save him. And so, the very least I could do was... Hey, oh, are you crying? Are you okay? No. The Edelgard who shed tears died many years ago. It's okay. Everything that's happened, it's all just part of the ebb and flow of history. The tragedy of Dusker, our days at the Academy, father's death, and the five years you were gone. After all of that, at long last, we're here, at this point in time. I hope you'll stay by my side until the very end. It's time for humanity to take this world back. Hmm. Well, if there's one lesson through all this... Not a goddamn person's willing to talk about anything. Everyone has their own visions for what's right, what should be, what should... Uh... Part 2. Crimson Flower. Great Tree Moon. To the end of a dream. Well, we only have one thing left to do. After defeating the Kingdom Army and King Dimitri on the Teen Plains... Imperial forces set their sights on Ferdiad, the kingdom capital. The final battle against Rhea draws near. So it seems... Well, this'll be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, this feels like a... So, we have finally arrived. It has been a very, very long road. Fantastic! Stab him now! Why are you here, Uncle? We haven't prevailed just yet. Even better. I decided I wanted to see the end with my own eyes. The very moment that humans will finally be free from the control of that false beast of a goddess. Understood. Behold to your heart's content. Just don't get in our way. Of course. I could not stand to be dragged into the fighting. When this fight is over, a world completely controlled by the Empire will be upon us. Not completely. I will only do what I must. But until our reign becomes stable... Uncle, no, all of you. I believe that your power and knowledge may be essential during that time of transition. Perhaps so. We also will do what we must. For that short while, we will lend you our strength. Yes. We're counting on you. For now. Professor, may I speak with you? Yeah, what's on your mind? I'd be interested to hear about your strategy after this, but I don't want to, you know... For the same reason we lied about what happened to Arianrod. Uh, probably don't want to focus too far ahead in that regard. I know the timing is less than ideal, but there's something I need to tell you. I imagine you've already sensed it, but even still, I must tell you the truth, of the power you wield, and of what you are. Uh, 
I mean, I have speculation. I certainly have noticed something weird going on. Yeah, I've, uh... How specific do you know? What are you talking about specifically? Have you still yet to realize it? If so, then it's absolutely vital that I tell you. You, like Rhea, share a bloodline with the so-called goddess. Your mother likely had some connection to the goddess, whose power has always been sleeping within you. Five years ago, when your power awakened, I was afraid you would choose to join with Rhea. <laughs> you thought I would join her? Ha! <laughs> ah, oh, that's hilarious. Hmm. I did. As you know, my goal is to free our world from the control of Rhea and the other children of the goddess. I seek to obliterate her, as well as those around her who use the church's power to control Fodlan. I swore to free the people from Rhea by striking her down, whether or not it meant making an enemy of you. And yet, you came to my aid and chose to walk with me on the path against Rhea. I was overjoyed, of course, but I was also confused. I thought that perhaps it wasn't the path you were meant to take. But I chose to trust in you, to rely on you and your strength. And now, here we are. <laughs> Can you explain it again? Okay, I, I'm... I mean, I sort of get in. It's vague, but... It's basically what I figured. Here, explain it again. Come on, Edelgard. I'll ask you to explain as many times as I can. Tease her a little bit. Of course. You, like Rhea, share a bloodline with the so-called goddess. Your mother likely had five years ago. Oh! <laughs> Literally just go through it. Okay, no, okay. I My did. bad. <laughs> I, s I swore. And yet, I was overjoyed. I thought that okay. I chose. So... Why would they think that there was, like, so much information in there when, one, we also have a log in this game, that I would be... Yes, okay, so some bloodline that connects me, that makes me compatible with whatever hearts or... Likely the Crest Stone, I still think that's a thing. I don't think they mentioned anything about it, since I was speculating that beforehand. Uh, the Crest Stone from the Sword of the Creator that they were mentioning and never got brought up again. Probably that is why I don't have a heart. So either I'm... Either that's enough to do it, or... I'm compatible with it, basically. Hmm. Ultimately, I think what Rhea was trying to do is I think she was trying to replace me with... So with this, basically, entirely. So... Fuck her. I understand. Thank you for listening, my teacher. I'm glad I finally had the chance to talk to you about it. Okay. Yeah, I mean... You don't seem to have much more information than I already sort of figured out. After Rhea is gone from this world, I don't know what will become of you. But whatever happens, I hope you know that you're very special to me. You are the one person in this world who can share the heavy burden I must carry. Someone without equal, who I can always speak my mind to. It's time. Let's go, Professor. The Imperial Army arrives in Ferdiad, the Kingdom Capital, only to be confronted by Rhea, who has transformed into the Immaculate One. The Black Eagle Strike Force steals itself for an epic battle, hoping to soon return Fodlan to its people. Okay. That's how we're going to play this? Hmm. Also, yeah, wouldn't it be like my father who's the, like, immortal one? Because <laughs> he, he, like, he doesn't age and that was a whole thing. Probably not my mother, but rather him, right? Hmm. Rhea, members of the Church of Saros. Surely there's no need to continue this fight. What could be gained by shutting yourselves inside the capital of a kingdom without a king? I will give you this one chance, and no other. Throw down your weapons and surrender. 
Unlike you, I have no desire to unleash wicked atrocities upon this world. Their silence speaks volumes. Shall we commence our attack? I'll wait just a moment longer. There are still many residents within the city. Unlike my attack on Garrick Mach five years ago, the Church will not allow the inhabitants to evacuate. What the hell are they planning? Lady Rhea, or rather, Lady Saros, the Imperial Army is calling for our surrender. Is it wise to ignore them? <sighs> if I were to guess what they're doing, I'd say I almost feel like they might be making, uh, more monsters, maybe. Perhaps we could leave Fodlin and devise another plan. We shall not surrender. We must not lose. Even if it must split the heavens, we shall not yield to the wicked ones. Understood. I will do as you command. You have my fealty no matter what. Until my last moment of life. I'll stay by your side too. Forever. Now, Catherine. Set fire to the city. What?! The Imperial Army will burn in the flames of eternal torment. What?! No, you can't do that! Catherine. Now. As... as you wish. But is there truly no other way? I have no patience for foolish questions. I shall sacrifice as many lives as it takes. That apostate who insists on taking everything from me will be crushed by my own hands! Fucking... How do you... Uh, Catherine? That ghastly voice. How are they... How is anyone still on her side? She's not even being sly about it. It's just like some blind faith is making them just completely ignore the reality in fucking front of them. And yet, yeah, that's the epitome of what the problem we have to solve is. She doesn't care about the people. She doesn't care about any of that. She cares about her stupid fucking mother or other fucking bullshit. My fucking goodness. It's obviously just a matter of control to get what she wants. Your Majesty! There's smoke coming from every corner of the capital. It seems they've set fire to the city. What? Damn it, Rhea. There really is no depth you wouldn't sink to. Everyone, we must commence our attack at once. Are you ready? Preparations are complete. Just say the word. Then we attack. We'll head straight for the castle and strike down their leader. Rhea, that vile creature called the Immaculate One. This is the end of our long war. After this victory, Fodlin will finally be united and truly free. The capital we're about to invade is engulfed in flames. Do not rush to your deaths. Survive. Prevail. Do that and we'll witness the birth of a new world. I want to see it with all of you at my side. Understood? Of course. I will not fall and leave you without your protector. And you may live to see your dream come to fruition. For that, I shall survive and prevail. I am carrying the future of Bridget. I will not be dying here. I will be winning for myself and for everyone. I will be surviving. We've been cutting our own path this whole way. There's no stopping until we reach the end. I can't die, or all my great work so far will have been wasted. Don't worry about me, AD. I won't fall before I've found my happily ever after. Maybe when this war is over, I can finally snag a good catch and settle down. Somehow we're already here. I wonder if the peace we secure will allow me to research as much as I'd like. If so, let's end this quickly. Edelgard, Professor, I'll do my best for both of you. If I die here, it would be with shame and regret. Oh, I can't let that happen. Once the world is united, I will lend my strength to both Edelgard and the Professor. To that end, I will lead us all safely to victory. My pride and duty as a noble demand no less, as do my own principles. Let's win this. Together! Imperial Army, Black Eagle Strike Force, move out! Okay. Okay. 
I'm not doing this now, mind you. I'm not doing this now. I, uh... I've been recording too long today. I need a break. <laughs> uh, yes, please. Right into it, eh? Okay. Oh. Why are you here? Why are you still fighting for them? Why are... Well, I don't really give a shit about you. I don't really care about you either. Oh. Oh, Annette. You, you look nice. <sighs> Defeat the enemy commander. You know what? Looking at this, I think that actually might be my... Wow. That might be my entire, uh... Attention here. The fuck, man? You guys are fucking crazy. Okay, well... As exciting as this is right now, and it is exciting... Uh, I'm not going to start this at the moment. So... I will see you all next time. As we save Fodlin! Woo! <laughs> Drive safely, everyone! And hello, and welcome back to Fire Emblem. This feels very climatic. We are about to face, in the depths of a burning Ferdian, the Immaculate One. And right now, my thought and strategy is I want to stay the fuck away from the students. I don't even hit, like, Ash is over here, Annette's over here, and it's like, nah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. And try to stick to this wall and make my way over. I don't care about killing... I don't really care too much about killing Gilbert. I think he's related to Annette in some way. But honestly, I... I'm okay with that if it comes down to it. And I'm extremely okay with killing Catherine. Personally. And... And Cyril. I mainly just need to get over here. So I'm curious if they'll uh, be... Uh, chasing me much, but... If I can stay to this side, I shouldn't... Well, I shouldn't be drawing the attention of Ash or Annette, hopefully. Hopefully, 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 hopefully. So, I'm all set up. Let's go. It's so awful to see the kingdom capital go up in flames. But at least we made it this far. We finally stand before the palace. These flames will kill our friends and foes alike. Those who stand in our way will perish with the flames. Immaculate One, your reign ends here and now. With fire raging all over the city, our enemies won't be able to advance in large numbers. Instead, they may try to defeat us with small squads of elite warriors. Indeed. I suspect as much. And at their head is the one who stole my mother from me, and likely that mutinous whelp Edelgard. Hey, buddy! I just wave. The whole city's burning! Oh, this isn't good. I'm flammable, you know? I know. If possible. We must be avoiding the flame and be careful of strong enemies. If we want to minimize our losses, we will need to be flexible in our approach. Very true. I want to... She mentioned, like, not grouping up, but I'm totally okay with grouping it up, uh, grouping up and taking this slow. Probably want to... Yeah, these guys I'm going to draw with Edelgard and Echo, too an opportunity for because I put my high movement people over here so we can get over here relatively quickly. I'll cut through. Basically. So I have enough flyers that I could probably take advantage of these fiery floors. Without uh act there's a lot more than just the fire animations too. I could probably take advantage of them to use them to pull people over where I can hit more people. I'll cut a bloody path. Okay, what are they gonna do? Go 
going after us at a basic level. I saw the iron sword. Whoops. Whoopsie daisy. From all the wind sweeps I was doing at the end of the last battle. That's a shame. Watch and learn. Sweet to lances, so that's what I was betting on here. You are in my way. Let's go. Great. And down. Not for myself, for everyone. Awesome. Okay. Keep moving. Bad, not bad, not bad. Okay. Still two more, though. So, that's still down, though. So. <laughs> not quite. Okay. At what point do I start pulling? these guys. I have to get pretty far into this territory to do so. Hmm. Not really worth it at this point. Uh, yeah, that's got her. That's a win for everyone. Oh, good job, Balthus. The stronger the better. Yeah, it gave me 12 unit slots, and, and I have the three adjutants, so it's actually more than I normally have, but still not enough to get everyone, like, all my normal fighters out there to fight, basically. That is a distance, though. Sure. A hundred freaking health, though. My goodness. And because I had one extra, Sylvain's here! He finally gets to see action! <laughs> I fight and grow stronger. Only natural. It's him or you, uh, and but it doesn't really matter, so. It's an adjutant. Pull my weight. It's an adjutant, so I didn't really care too much about who it was between them. That's fine. Can definitely work with that. Open your hearts and accept your fate. The Immaculate War saves only the righteous. She feels like she's falling apart. What are you doing? Just looking looking at that like little What? Her howl was unadulterated magic. 
I didn't know such a display of power was possible. Wait, what it... The doll's movement seemed stronger after that roar. Oh, fantastic. Whenever the Immaculate One howls, those dolls become stronger. That's fine. I can live with that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We just need to make sure we minimize how many we need to fight. So that's three, or two more overall, it seems, based on my current route. Job, Bernie. Maybe this will help me keep steady. Good, good, good. Let's go. Can horses not go over this fiery terrain? Seems like that might be the case. Yeah, horses just can't go over this terrain. Fan fucking hostile. Well done. like fighting is all there is. So I'll set you guys up so that you at least have something resembling healing happen. From Dorothea's uh, active heal uh, passive healing at the beginning of turns. Oh, that's a low percentage chance. Get him, get him, Petra. On the crits, too. Do it. Oh, that was good, Petra. That, that was fucking fantastic, Petra. Oh, they're moving. That's fine. Certainly some pain, then passive healing that gets most of it back. Wait, why did Dorothea get passive? Whatever. I'm not actually sure why she got it specifically. Oh, wow. Just about, though. Uh, might as well get them off. For now. Get them out of the way. The amount of crits I'm getting is just... What? I feel like I'm no getting so many up. crits. And the enemy's getting so many crits based on that last battle, too. I admire you. Yeah. <laughs> Next try. Prepare yourself. Oh my fucking goodness, seriously. <laughs> My the duty fucking grits. Is your death. The fucking grits, man. Witness my power. Goody, 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 good. Okay. What do I start drawing? So, sword down. Intriguing. Hard to imagine she can't take an attack from it or dodge it. Pull it out of that fiery terrain and start walloping on it soon. <laughs> ah, it was a chance. It was a chance. Fine. Let's get that passive healing at least on some of them. Wait, why did Bernie and Linhart not take damage? What? They're not flyers. Wait, what the fuck? Why did they not take. Oh, that's just weird. Okay, 
How about... Is this also good against this? Yeah, technically. But not the best thing at the moment. Yep, I can handle that. Down it goes. Stronger my ass. That was fine. I could have gotten a few more Each attacks off on it. Victory. I just need to make sure I heal up. <laughs> War fuels my body and mind. Oh, that's a that's I'm a hell of a saying there. That's a hell of a saying. Oh, exciting. Okay. All oh, reinforcements, excellent. I can protect from my behinds, I definitely can. 21 fucking hit percentage, though, my goodness. Do I still have the... I might have had the Brave Lance on here still. What are you doing? you two. What the hell? Huh. Interesting. Well, if I want to deal with Catherine, it's gonna be this turn. Let's see how much of a how much of a dodge tank am I against her? Not as much as I'd hope. That's not bad though. Like Edokar's a hell of a dodge tank, but she's also like uh, people are dodge tanks against her too. <laughs> uh, I have to take her off from a distance. That's sort of the key here. I will pour everything into this battle. My body, my soul. Thunderbrand rumbles, urging me on. I am the goddess's servant. You will taste my blade. <laughs> yes, okay, got a hit. Good. I can back her off. I can back her off too. So she's not getting targeted by whatever the hell the rest of that uh, rest of that's supposed to be. I wish you'd never shown your face at Garrick Mock. I always knew you were trouble, yet I did nothing. Time for me to correct that mistake. Prepare to meet your end. I think you were just jealous of the attention I got. You didn't think I was freaking. You didn't think I was fucking anything more. Rhea, my service ends here. It's been an honor. Uh, well, you sealed your fate when you took the idea of setting fire to the fucking city and ran with it. Ooh! Hey, Felix! Oh my goodness. Crest bear. Ah, okay. Yeah, I think it's good, but it's not great. Here, let's replace the... At worst, it's better than... So I think this is something that uh, has been mentioned in the comments by now. That you can use relic weapons. And that's why I was able to use the Fetters of Dromi, I believe, on uh, Edelgard. But you don't get special... Like, there's special, special effects... Apparently, there's a thing, if you're not a crest bearer, you get hurt if you use it. If you have a crest, but the wrong crest, you can use it, but you don't get the special effects. If you get the right crest, you get the special effects, basically. It would technically be better than the steel sword. Well, no. That's a low hit rate. It actually is a fairly low hit rate. Eh. Eh. 
I have that iron sword just for like burning durability. And the high hit rate's important for that too, so for wind sweep mainly. And that lower hit rate, it, it's strong, but I prefer to use my great all soul on it. I'm gonna use something. Okay. I can take these guys out. No problem, I'm sure. I do not tolerate obstacles. It's win or die. Okay. Got it. So, how much distance? Wow, those guys do have quite a distance. Four of them. I imagine they're going to be chasing after me. It's hard to imagine they won't be. I'm skipping a lot of this. I, I am perfectly okay with that, personally. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up here for a little bit, let them catch up to me. Also bring some of these other guys down so I can just clear out the field a bit. Make sure I don't get in her range, at the very least. I can remember. Yeah. It is done. Onward. Flying mo fly mobility, awesome mobility. Let's go. For now. Well, I can see where the danger zone is at the moment, at least. Uh, keep Petra back, because she'll probably be best against those flyers that are going to inevitably chase us. Or not? Or maybe they're just... Maybe that is, like, literally the quickest route. I'm gonna bring my flyers back just so I have more safe spots to put on. Put my guys on. Uh, well, I suppose, you know, all these are fiery floors except the stairs. So... Never mind. Okay, what are these Pegasus Knights gonna do? Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Actually, not really sure what they're attempting here. Well, I'm pulling the guys I want to pull, so... I can probably start bringing people up without too much... Yay, I only have one more I really need to worry about, though, so... Hopefully. Okay. Yeah. Should be a small amount of damage, uh, even if. So, best way to go about this. Dance, dance. Use up both my meteors, but that's fine. I am perfectly okay with that. Come on. There we go. Get rid of that bolting. I don't want I don't want to deal with just magic attacks Only from a distance. Left on this rose. Okay, come after me. Ha, <laughs> get yourself hurt too. No objection there. You get close to being able to attack there. Okay, yeah, they're definitely going after this stuff now. Okay, that's fine. Oh, and she has a ring that heals her. That's why, I think. Now I think about it. Okay. Maybe make sure we take out those guys. Okay, at minimum, that holds all of them in place for the turn. I sense an improvement. 
You're definitely in a better situation than you have been. Definitely should be able to handle that one next, uh... Next turn, and the rest of them are sort of stuck behind him at the moment, so it's like, sure, why not? Thank you. Ha! Uh, that went well. Okay, he's still up there, that's fine. And this one, hopefully one of them misses, but alas, no, because of course not. Oh, wait, both of them have the range? Fuck, okay. Okay, My yep, redo. And pride. Lost. Must I die on foreign soil? I thought only one of them had the range. My mistake. Yours is an honorable death. I've no time to idle. Okay, with that in mind, I'm gonna... There. Break that down. Move people slightly more out of the way. Waste of time. Come on. 50 50. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, fine. Oh well. It's time. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Damn it. Now that misses. What's that. my strategy? Let's see if the turn before is any better. Experimentation! Woo! Now's our chance. Come on. Ugh. There we go. That's what I want. I aspire to be my best. Okay. Should Put be in a good there. situation to actually handle it this time. Because I wasn't accounting for the far back Pegasus Rider nearly as well as I should have been. Basically. I should be able to take care of this at least now. At least all those Pegasus Riders. Nah. God fucking damn it! Really? <sighs> well, I can still basically stop it. Stop it in its tracks for uh, this time. My God. Oh, my fucking goodness. Still here. Okay, so I've drawn them in close enough that I should be able to take them all out. At least the flyers. There's only there's only two of them left and I have multiple. I don't have to worry about any like just significant repercussions like I was just having to worry about basically. And they're in places my magic users can uh, reach, so 
They're not completely hidden on those walls at the moment. Oh yeah, and I want to. I wanted to get it. I wanted to get that chest. Prayer ring, which is okay, I guess, at this point. Did you think I'd let you go? You lost that one. Ha uh. <laughs> you're both gonna get hurt so bad. My teacher, leave me behind. You must lead the others onward. For fuck's sake. And I've not been getting criticals lately either. I got a bunch at the beginning. No, 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 I just need to go all the way back to the beginning of the turn. And redo the stuff bar Edelgard at the moment. So if we're gonna get hurt in any ways... And I'm not gonna miss that assault... anyways... Sweet of you. For the Empire. Yeah, let's just block you off right here, right now. Get that alert stance on instead. Ready when you are. All is going to plan. Okay, well, that should at least deal with the crits. If it's inevitable, it's on the freaking low percent chance. Well, you went after someone else, didn't you? But no crit, so... At least I deterred you. Likely from the alert stance, right? Break it all the way. Okay, and no worry about getting attacked this next turn. <laughs> oh my. Down it goes. Stronger my butt. Did you think I'd let you go? How are those guys strong here exactly? 
A laughable improvement, but it's something. I really don't get the impression that they're actually stronger. Uh, so they're going to do no damage against Casper or no hit rate against Edelgard. Perfect. I can just take him out anyways. He's one of them. This is my stage now. Okay. All this power just to survive. Okay. Take care of that guy, easy peasy. You know, after we dealt with that fucking crit. So you chose the no chance of damage over the, uh, okay. That's fine. I guess he didn't have much of, uh, he's on cavalry, so he doesn't, he's not moving very well on this. Though it doesn't mention that it impacts cavalry and whatnot, so okay. It's pretty close to being able to draw these guys. That's the one I'm worried about, so. I want to clear out this area, I want to be on the relatively safe side before I start drawing people in. Oh, you have a lower. I wonder if I could get out of this without even drawing your attention. I'm so happy that I can do this without these guys chasing after me at the very least. I don't want to kill them. Give a shit about Catherine. Gilbert, you know. Managed to be on a route that I wasn't planning to take, so eh. I could route this. I could also not. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> You're all going down. Wow, amazing. Okay. I could even pull them in with that. Okay. Drawing multiple <laughs> of them. Oh no, that wonderful low hit rate still hitting. And fucking fantastic. Okay, I should be able to take all these things. Even if I get hit by... Yeah, not that last one. Okay, that was the plan. And I have Dorothea set up in order to get some passive healing off the fiery floor soon. So good. For her included. All right, next. I sense an improvement. Good, good, good. With all of my might! Witness Bridget Pride! Unnecess Unnecessary crit number 535. One step closer to victory. Why are you going all the way? No, don't go all the way back. Ah. Four health bars, though. That's going to be fun. It's win or die. Okay. I see that the years have not cured humanity of its folly. You still wish to hurt and betray my mother and myself. Yeah, I don't think I owe you shit. Personally. My opinion, though. Oh, do you not have to move to it? Oh, okay, that's good. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Shit. Okay, okay, okay. So we're gonna draw them in. My dreams and pride lost. Must I? 
We're gonna we're gonna start drawing them in as soon as she starts attacking. So that'll be fantastic. Who else all moves? Everyone fucking moves. So yay! Okay. I definitely know the better way to go about this. Focus focus down you for sure. Oh my fucking goodness, nine of them too. Oh, Okay, I want to take out that Pegasus Knight. I don't want things just bum-rushing me really quickly at a distance. You're weak. Yeah, okay. So I'm not worried about it so much anymore, but I will uh, try to set up an attack basically from that corner. So I can get as many just, like, rush in and attacks off of, like, two turns or whatever else. I'm a little afraid of you. A little itty bitty afraid of you. Brave Axe, eh? Uh, you do have range. You do have range. It didn't seem like you moved in the other one. You don't have... Yeah, you don't have nearly as much. So you, I think, I'll end up pulling by just getting in your range. Everyone else starts <laughs> collapsing in as soon as the other stuff goes down, so I want to... I just want to spend a turn or two, basically, just... Wiping the floor with her, basically. Might makes right. Sorry. Time to bum rush the motherfucking boss. So what do you have? Vital defense. Against sword, lance, or axe users. Fan-fucking-tastic. Dragon scale wall. Very just 70% while intact. Remove it to inflict an armor. Great. Got it. So realistically, I should have about three turns. Yeah? If you want to be realistic. Oh! Ha! She has the counter-attack thing from any distance. Okay. I wonder if that's a percent chance or if it's always... always the case. So it's true. You don't value human life at all. Isn't that right, Immaculate One? Nonsense! Fools who do not accept their own sins are undeserving of salvation! Sins being not appreciating you? The oh, fuck? You humans are the ones who betrayed. You betrayed me, and you betrayed my mother! I did not betray you or her. I never believed in you from the beginning. We won't hold back! Okay, forcing that. Not gonna... Almost definitely not gonna hit. Probably not gonna hit. So we have a bunch of normal floor here, so... Yours is whatever it is. I want to advance some people. But keep out of his range, because, yeah, chances are he's gonna go after whoever. Okay, they're moving now. I suspect I have probably two, maybe three more turns before I really have to deal with them. Especially since Calvary. There aren't any flying units, which means everyone's gonna be slow as fuck getting through all this terrain. Cyril didn't move? What? Uh, that is his name, right? Yeah, Cyril. Like, I didn't get that wrong, did I? He's not moving. It's just the guys with names and their associated units are, have started moving. No 
time to slow down. Trying, trying to predict the ebb and flow of battles. Interesting, at the very least. Never hesitate. That's fine. Wait. Nope, we definitely want to stay there. That blocks his path. That actually blocks his path, so he can't get as far. Ooh. Okay. That's 48%. I can deal with that. I can definitely deal with that. I still don't know why these guys aren't getting damaged. Sort of quite confusing me. Like, the mounted units, like, don't get damage on the fiery spaces or something? It's weird. So... Can't move that far. I can take care of... I can take care of Gilbert and then. You will take another couple turns before... Maybe another three turns. I actually have quite a bit of time for Ashen and Naked there. You, I'm... <laughs> That's hilarious. I can take those guys out easy. I, I, I don't even care about using turns at this point. This makes sense in my head. This is a good strategy. You will not be forgiven! You... Oh, that hit... Oh, shit, that's... I can only lament that you chose to side with the Empire. I am a royal knight, and I will destroy all of His Majesty's foes. <laughs> Though Ash might have a lot of range, too. not fucking moving. Oh. Fuck. I almost feel it would be better to... Yeah. We do that last turn, essentially. I see that the years have not you still. Marvel at our strategy. Okay, good. Good that hit. Good, 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 good. Witness my resolve. Oh, that hit right. I think there's a slightly better way to go about this. <laughs> Promising sign. So 
you're safe. I'm awake. Which means you can also keep these guys safe. Yep, that's the plan. One might be a little grumpy. <laughs> little itty bitty grumpy. Ooh, is that? Wait, 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 wait. If unit lands a hit, target is unable to use magic for one turn. Good thing I kept my magic user for last. Wait, why are you able to attack? You shouldn't be able to attack, right? What? Didn't seem to bind anything there. Slow pokes, slow pokes, no come up with slow pokes, whatever. <laughs> wow, they still can't hit shit. Okay. I guess now it's probably magic bound, right? And Cyril still doesn't move? The hell is wrong with him? Like, is there something wrong with the AI? <sighs> well, no more barriers. I should be able to finish this, right? Sally Ford. Assuming I don't die on a counterattack. Ah, uh, I assume you can. I'll cut through. Yeah, I hit any counterattack in reply. Put me in. There. Yep. So, basically... Is it a magic attack? I wish I knew what fucking attack. Rad. Foe initiates combat while units. Unit's HP is under 50%, grants crit plus 50. <laughs> Initiate, so let's see if we can finish it this turn. Basically. For the Empire. <laughs> no use! <laughs> okay. That works. Ready when you are. Go, go, go. Quite a few of them can take an attack. That is true. And she can't... ...do anything. If I finish her, I'll finish off her health, so I should be able to take advantage of her low health for at least a turn. 
Who would be the best one to do for that? So unless I understand this incorrectly, he should be able to take a hit, then another hit. Or he should be able to take a hit, and at that point he should at least have a second attack down, which should be enough. Right? I think so, at least. Or he just hits twice in a row anyways. Doesn't take anything. Good. <laughs> Good time to level up. That's a win for everyone. You can definitely take a sh 143 health. Uh, you can take a hit though. Go for it. There's that magic vine. How much can I do with Sublime Heaven? 31 damage. Maybe a bit, but. <laughs> she's not doing as much in reverse. It feels like she might not be. Like, like she's better at attacking, but being lower, it's she's, uh, worse at actually countering. what it seems like, at least. Yeah, you can lift the one now. Would be better to... Try for a crit. <laughs> uh, tempting, but this is... This would be... Safer, at least. There's a crit! Oh, good job! That settles it. Good job, Sylvain! You made all the difference. That means I'm in a stage where I have like five people left I could still attack with. Do it. And down she motherfucking goes! I am... I don't have a face cam, but I am raising my fucking fist in the sky. I did it without having to kill any of the students. Catherine just went down. Sarah was a fucking idiot who didn't go after anyone for some fucking reason. I don't know.